theory, objective questions, and various numericals. Okay, follow the series completely. Let's start. Hi friends, welcome to Adda Twenty Four Seven. So we are in the Achiever series. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, everyone, morning first. We are in the Achiever series, right? For the RBWM. Yeah. How many of you are there from first day? How many of you have joined from the first day? How many of you are watching from the first day? Type yes in the comment section. Everyone, type yes in the comment section. How many of you are watching from the first day? See here, we have started it almost six days back, and we are covering all the objective questions. Presently, we are covering module A. Okay. So those who have not watched, kindly go through the entire series. Okay, because very important questions will be covered over here. So let's start without wasting the time. And basically, we we are covering objective questions because that is also an important part. Almost what all the questions are objectives only, and these one-liner questions carry huge marks. Okay. So let's study. Let's start. Okay. First one. Which of the following is not correct regarding product developments in bank? So you have not correct. We want what is not correct regarding product development. Survey is done in commercial banks, but only through in-house resources and not outsourced. We want not correct. Okay. In some banks, no survey is done. Products in some banks are developed and launched based on the industry practices and needs expressed by the customers. And D1, none of the above. So, which of them is not correct? Yeah, not correct. We want not correct. Now, think everyone think. Let me see. Yeah. Think over it. Think over it. I'll wait for one uh, half a minute because this is a typical one. See here, survey is done in commercial banks, but no, but only through in-house resources. So, firstly, what are commercial banks? Commercial banks are this nationalized plus private. Both the banks are commercial banks. So do the survey. Do the survey in house. Think over it. Number two, no survey is done in some banks. So it happens in many of the banks. It happens. Many of the cooperative banks, no survey is done. Nothing. D, product in some banks are developed and launched based on the industry practices and needs expressed by the customer. Means. What are the major customers of the bank say, or the big customers of the bank say? This generally happens in cooperative banks again, and also in various new banks also. They develop the products fast. And last one is none of the above. So what should be the answer over here? The answer is A. Correct answer is A. Survey is done. This is not correct. Remember, it is not correct. Why? Because Survey in commercial banks is not done in house; it is outsourced. Okay, it is outsourced. Got it? Clear. Next one: Processing of products and services in retail banking is approved from the following dimensions. Number one: Processing is done through in house resources. Number two: Processing is partly done in house and for some products outsourcing. Number C, in some products, entire process is outsourced. A to C all means in-house, then partly and complete outsource. So A to C all, B only. Some outsourced, some uh, in-house. A and B only means in-house and some outsourced, and A and C only. So in-house and completely outsourced. So what should be the answer over here? Think over it, everyone. Yeah.
think 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 yes is it a to c all means some completely in house some outsource some in house and uh, completely outsourced is it something like that or only b b is the answer many of you are thinking b is the answer what do you think the answer is e to c all this is the answer right good morning everyone those who have joined new good morning those who have joined late good morning so it is e to c all processing of products and services is approached via complete in house or uh, part partial outsource or it is complete outsource in foreign banks they do complete outsource see this in foreign banks they generally do complete outsource this is done in indian private banks and this is generally done in nationalized banks in house okay for product development in public uh, sector banks the following approach is adopted so product development focus on this word product development for developing a new product in psb now now they have specifically asked about psb public sector bank so for psb what is the approach to be adopted processing is done in all cases by using a in house resources processing is done in some cases by using in house and some outsource and here complete outsource c1 and d outsourcing is not used at all so a and d are similar answers all give by in house resources yeah will change this because a and d seem to be same so so product development in public sector banks the following approach is adopted processing is done in all cases by using in house so completely in house or partial in house partial outsourcing or processing is done in all cases by using out uh, uh, using out resources out means outside resources okay so what is the true answer over here what do you think yes 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 up till now we used to think that in public sector banks everything is done completely in house earlier means up to 2005 10 they used to do completely in house but nowadays even public sector banks have changed okay they have also changed now you see all the banks have geared up you might have seen this right all your banks are giving you huge pressures isn't it aren't they giving you huge pressures now so all your banks are giving you huge pressures for what for functioning how many of you are getting the insurance target everyone just tell me how many of you are having that insurance target to the fullest means to the fullest means on a daily basis how many insurance logged in today this week that week insurance week that week then you have that kisan uh, credit card target how many of you have this uh, kcc target and insurance target mainly insurance forget about kcc because kcc is a core product what about insurance how many of you have insurance targets type yes in the comment section if you have the insurance targets everyone type yes right everyone because nowadays banking is less of banking and completely it's of insurance so that's why public sector banks have changed a lot they have sim become similar to that of the national uh, this uh, private banks so the answer is this now b this is same the case in private banks also this is similar uh, similarly the case is in public sector banks also the processing is done in some cases using in house and in some cases using outsourcing so that is done what is outsourcing outsourcing means we give the survey part or some other uh, part which is given to the other public means common persons uh, means some private agencies are given this job okay 
got it move on okay yeah chalo next one are you with me everyone are you with me everyone okay with this how's it going are you understanding it everyone are you understanding it type yes in the comment section everyone are you following it <coughs> chalo next one in which of the following category of banks the product development process is fully outsourced fully fully outsourced in which category of banks now think over it everyone which category of banks the product development is fully outsourced public sector new private old private and foreign banks firstly tell me what is public sector bank see here today i'll be taking the same session in at 7 am just 15 minutes from now join the batches as at right now you can join the batch also today is the first day of the paid batch do join it immediately okay do join it right now you join it because today's topic is this only public sector banks introduction to the banking retail banking i'll be taking that only okay so fully outsourced in which bank see here new private sector bank means what these are hdfc bank icici bank which have which have come into existence after 1991 narsimham committee old private sector banks means those banks were existing earlier those are private banks like karnataka bank or uh, this uh, uh, there were other banks as well karnataka was there karur vaishya was there these banks existed long back and last one is foreign bank means like city bank hsbc so fully outsourcing is done in foreign banks this year year full outsourcing is done always okay here they do full outsourcing remember this okay so foreign bank in new private sector banks and public sector bank partial okay here in fact all all of them now all of them are partial outsourcing completely okay all are doing partial outsourcing now got it okay with this move on chalo let's move on to the next one bank adopt different approach uh, different process models for retail asset products which include centralized retail asset processing centers centralized processing in some cases regional processing centers and stand alone processing at branches so banks adopt different process models what are the different process models centralized retail asset products now you will see what is the difference between a and b what is the difference centralized retail asset products and here centralized processing in some some cases now the difference between a and b is in a we are only focusing on asset loan but here we are focusing on loan as well as deposits assets and liabilities both okay so that is the difference centralized asset processing then centralized processing in some cases regional processing centers regional means what we have various in various regions north east west south there are certain processing processing centers right stand alone processing at branches means at the branch level what is the answer a to d all a to c only a a to b only and c and d only what should be the answer over here everyone think sometimes there is only retail asset sometimes centralized is done for all the products nowadays all the products are centralized all almost right banking products retail processing centers and stand alone so the answer is a to d all okay all of them a to d all okay got it next one in retail asset product model where the retail loans are sourced by branches and by marketing teams and processed at a single point is known as 
See here, sourced at branches. Branches are only sourcing it by marketing team. So everything is sourced. Here we are talking only of sourcing. And processed at a single point. So single point means only one level. Centralized processing it might be or anything we can call it. So it is called as what? Standalone, regional, centralized and any of these. So what is the answer for this? All the branches are giving their, uh, these documents and they are processed at only one level. One processing center is there. So that is called as standalone, regional, centralized and any of these. What do you think? Yeah. Think over it. Think over it. I'll just wait for one minute. Okay. So the answer is centralized, right? Centralized processing. This is the answer. Centralized. Got it? Okay. Next one. Where the bank follows the retail asset product, processing at branches without taking any assistance from regional centers. This is called as here. Where the branch follows the retail asset processing at branches. So it is done at branches without taking any assistance from the regional center. So no help from the head office or zonal office or anyone. So it is called as standalone, regional, centralized or any any of these. Think about it. This is a bit tricky one. Tricky. Okay. This is a bit tricky one. A bit tricky. Everyone think over it. Everything is done at the branches. Sourcing is also done at the branch. Processing is done at the branch. Everything at the branch. So it is called as what? Standalone, regional, centralized. <coughs> think, think, think. I'll give you a hint also. Okay. It's either A or B. It's either A or B. Think over it now. I want the answer in the comment section. Everyone kindly comment. And give the give it in the comment section. Everyone. Answer is, it is called a standalone. Remember, standalone processing means standalone. What do you mean by standalone? I am alone. Nobody is helping me. That's what is said over here. Processing at the branches without taking any assistance from the regional center. So, no help. It is called a standalone. Got it? Remember this by heart. The level of centralized processing of retail assets is the lowest in respect of which of the following banks. So, centralized processing of retail assets is lowest. Remember, we want it for the lowest now. In which of the following banks? New private, old private, public sector and foreign banks. Central processing is lowest. Which of the banks? Think over it. Lowest now. We don't want highest. We want the lowest. Okay. We want the lowest. 
so it is lowest in public sector banks remember this public sector bank c is the answer okay next one the level of centralized processing of retail assets is highest in respect of which of the bank highest so everything is centralized everything it's highest in which banks then obviously now this will be foreign banks right we are in the sankalpa series and we are covering important theory objective questions numericals case studies for abm so today we'll be covering some important theory for this chapter number 1 and some important questions as well okay so let's move on yeah hold on first important theory will be covering because these definitions are also equally important and you need to understand the concept after that we'll be covering the numericals okay so if the frequency first uh, first topic is frequency if the value of the variable example discrete or continuous what is discrete what is continuous here every word will discuss first and then we'll go ahead so if the value of the variable whether it's discrete or continuous discrete means what separable separable means what 1 2 3 separable each can be separated continuous means what suppose like this 0 to 5 5 to 10 these are all continuous variables so which are which occur in a in a uh, you can say a gap or you can say a fixed uh, interval okay so if the value of the variable discrete or continuous example height weight income occurs twice or more in a given series of ob observations okay twice or more in a given series of observations then the number of occurrences of the value is termed as frequency so this is an important definition from exam point of view in exam this word twice or more will be important for you okay so anything which appears twice or more will be called as only will be called as frequency in exam sometimes you get the numericals also in that numerical the frequency is 1 1 upon 10 so that is the frequency so that in numerical you can write it 1 but remember from the definition point of view occurs twice or more is known as a frequency the way of representing a data in form of table consisting of values of a variable with the corresponding frequencies is called as frequency distribution what is distribution the way of representing the representing the data in form of table okay in form of table means here suppose if i take this only 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 and so on so when i make the table out of this okay this is known as my class and this is known as my frequency okay now i'll explain you suppose if i'm having these numbers 1 2 3 3 then uh, let's say three again then three again then four okay and i start writing this classes now 0 to 5 okay 0 to 5 so let's me let me make it like this 0 to 5 means uh, everything will be over here only so let me make it 0 to 2 let me make it smaller classes okay 0 to 2 2 to 4 2 to 4 and then go on 4 to 6 so on okay so 0 to 2 how many will be there 0 to 2 how many are there from 0 to 2 now remember 0 to 2 means what will 2 be considered in this no 2 will be in the next class always 2 means 0 to 2 means less than 2 okay so here the frequency is 1 only 2 to 4 2 to 4 now look at this starting from 2 over here then 3 3 3 and now 4 will be there no 4 will be in the next class so this is four times so this becomes 0 to 4 is 4 so this is known as a frequency and this table is known as frequency distribution table in which i arrange it in proper manner so representing the frequency in form of a table so that it is easily understood okay so that is frequency dis distribution table class boundaries so now there are two types of class boundaries remember what is a class boundary i'll give you a simple example now just now we saw the classes means what 0 to 5 5 to 10 now it can be two types what are the two types let's say i divide it like this how mm, let me think 
Let, let's keep it simple. Ah, 10 to, yeah, 10 to 14, 15 to 19, 20 to 24. Look at this. Both are inclusive over here. Okay, 10 is also included, 14 is also included. So, suppose if I get 10, suppose if I get 10, where will I place this 10 over here in this group? Suppose if I get 14, where will I place this over in this group? Suppose if I get 17, I'll place it in this group. I get 19, I'll place it in this group, second group, okay? I get 24, I'll place it in this third group. So, this group where the upper and the lower boundary is included is known as inclusive group. Inclusive, okay? Got it? Inclusive means where the upper and the lower boundary is uh, limit, you can call it maximum, minimum. Those are included is known as inclusive. And what is exclusive then? Now if I have to convert this, see here, in, inclusive classes can be converted to exclusive classes. So it has to be, it's by solving any numerical, inclusive class has to be converted to exclusive class. Now what do you mean by this? See this, it's like this. This 10, what will I do? I'll take 0.5 on the other side, earlier side. And 14, I'll take 0.5 on the other uh, uh, later side. Okay, so it'll be what? 9.5. And here, 14.5. Now the second part. 15, I'll take 0.5 on the other side. So it is 14.5 and 19.5. This nine, Now 20, I'll take it 19.5. And then 24.5 and so on. I'll go on and on and on. So what does it mean? See, this is known as exclusive. Exclusive. This earlier one was inclusive. Now what do you mean by this? It means that, see this boundary over here. It won't be included. Now, understand. It's not compulsory that both the boundaries are not included. For example, in this. Suppose if I get 14.5 as a number. 14.5. So that 14.5 will not be included in this, but it will be included in this. So exclusive doesn't mean both the boundaries are excluded. It can be either one boundary or both the boundaries or the upper boundary or the lower boundary. Anything is called as exclusive. So in this case, generally what we follow in your CIV is we follow that any number, okay? which is uh, on the boundary will always be included in the next class means 14.5 i'll be including it over here 19.5 i'll be including it over here okay so that is the meaning of exclusive and inclusive while solving any numerical this is the important discrimination this is the important class we never use inclusive class while solving the numericals never ever we always use exclusive even if you have inclusive class, you have to convert it to exclusive. You have to convert it, remember, okay? And the new class intervals is called as class boundary, okay? Now, this is remaining thing is simple. The same thing I have explained you, okay? Let's move on. You can read this if you want, okay? Everyone subscribe to Officers Under 24-7 YouTube channel. In this channel, you will be getting the latest updates plus uh, this from IIBF plus free YouTube series, okay? That's why. Subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon immediately. Okay, free YouTube series. Right now you are watching the same. So you'll be getting the same in the channel. Now, how to join this? See, there are two, three ways. One is you can join our Telegram channel. See this class, scan this blue code. Just expand this and scan this blue code. Okay, similarly, this uh, black code, QR code. Scan it to get your YouTube channel. Similarly, this Insta. Insta, you can just scan it and you'll get it on the Insta. Why Why joining this all these channels? Why should you join? Because we share, remember, two, three things. Okay? Two, three important things we share over here. What are those? See, remember, we share, importantly, the free YouTube series. Okay? Secondly, free questions. You get it over here. Free questions. Questions, test. You get it over here. Okay? So, that's why you should join this immediately. The type of cumulative frequency where the frequencies are added starting from the highest class to the lowest class is called as highest to lowest. Now what do you mean by this? Suppose if these are the classes, let me explain you. Suppose if the classes are, let me make it simple, okay? 0 to 5, class, class means what? Upper limit, lower limit. 
five to ten, ten to fifteen, and so on. Okay, okay. Let's take three classes: zero to five, five to ten, ten to fifteen. Now, suppose if I arrange them in this way: what ten to fifteen, then below I go five to ten, then below I go zero to five. In that case, if I go in this way, it is called as what? This is the question. The type of cumulative frequency where the frequencies are added starting from the highest class to the lowest class is known as what? Relative frequency, percentage frequency, less than cumulative, and greater than cumulative. What is it called as? Type in the comment section. <coughs> Everyone, let me see. Type it in the comment section. Hmm? Name itself. Name hi kafi hai. What is the name? Where, where is this starting from? It is starting from the highest one. So that's why greater than, isn't it? Name hi kafi hai. That's what. If you are arranging it in this way, see, this is greater than. I'll write it over here. GT. I'll just write it. Okay, greater than. And if I arrange it like this, zero to five, five to ten, ten to fifteen. Okay. Then what do I get? I get less than LT. Okay. This less than. Okay, got it clear. Next one, the following table gives less than type frequency distribution of income per day. What is the income? Uh, which income is a mode? So I want a mode now. So look at this. This is known as a class, class, and this is known as the frequency, frequency. So which one is this frequency? Which is the maximum frequency? Mode means what? Any class which is having the maximum frequency. So which is the maximum frequency over here? Hundred. So the modal class is this fifteen hundred. Simple, isn't it? In exam such numericals, if you get it is just a cakewalk for you. Okay. The data of uh, some workers is given twenty three hundred. All these things numbers are given. If the desired desired number of class intervals is ten, what is the class width? Now this you might have done earlier. I might have taken it earlier also. See here, it's very simple. Uh, firstly, let me see how many of you can are answering this. So, suppose if it is like this, see, uh, width equals to width equals to range divided by number. Number means this number of class. Uh, how many intervals are required? What is range? Range equals to highest minus lowest. H minus L. What is the highest one now over here? Tell me, highest. Which number is highest? Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty one, two thousand, two two, blah 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 blah. This three thousand. So three thousand minus which is the lowest? Two thousand. So it is one thousand, right? One thousand. So what is my width then? Width equals to one thousand upon number. What is the number? Ten. So my class width will be hundred. So this is my answer. Okay. Everyone download Adart 24/7 app on your mobile. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, e-books, tests. Whatever we require for clearing JIB and CIB, we get it over here. Immediately download and start studying. Not just not just download. Okay, start studying. Okay. The class where the upper and the lower limits are also in the class interval is called as. Have we done this? No, I was explaining you at that time. Yeah. So this is the same question which we have done it. Upper and the lower limits are also in the class interval. So it, they are in the class interval. So it is called as exclusive, inclusive, discrete, continuous. Which is this? Upper and the lower are also in the class interval. Just now I told you right that what ten to fourteen, fifteen to nineteen, right? So upper and lower, I told you, if I get forty nine, it will be in this class, right? So this is known as inclusive, right? And then we have to convert this to exclusive. I have shown you earlier, so we won't be repeating it now. Okay? The following table gives the distribution of hundred families according to their expenditure. Find the modal class. Simple. Let me see who can give me the fastest answer. Modal class. Modal means what? What did just now we did modal? What was mode? Modal means that class which is having the highest frequency. So which is having the highest frequency? Number of families. This is F. Remember, class is always this class, or you call it X also. X or uh, yeah, class only. Call it X class because for this class we have a class mark. That's a separate part. We'll do this someday else. 
सो विच इज मोडल क्लास ओवर हि हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी ट्वेंटी सेवन सो विच इज अ मोडल क्लास दिस नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द मोड ऑफ दिस देर इज अ सेपरेट फॉर्म्यूला दैट इज अ बिग फॉर्म्यूला ओके सो दैट्स वाई आई एड सजेस्ट यू टू जॉइन द पेड क्लासेस ओवर हि ओके द रन स्कोर बाय द batchman for five odis are this 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 find the mean median and mode okay simple one let's do it mean okay what is the mean mean means average okay mean is always average average so what is the average total then 31 plus 97 plus 112 plus 63 plus 12 okay 31 plus 97 now do it by the time i write it you do it everyone 112 plus 63 plus 12 Okay, so what is the answer? This total, the whole upon the whole upon number of elements five. So this will be my mean. What is that answer? It's okay. Everyone do it. Let me see who is getting the answer over here. Yeah, who is getting it? Everyone, yeah, do it fast. See, ah, uh, exams are near, so you need to do it fast. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. What is it? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thirty-one plus ninety-seven plus one one two plus sixty-three plus twelve. Right. So total is three one five. Three one five. Three one five divided by five. So it is what sixty-three. Sixty-three is my mean, right? Mean is sixty-three. Median. What about the median then? Median means always arrange them in the serial order. Means what? From the lowest to highest, we'll arrange them in ascending order. Twelve. Then what is the next one after twelve? The blah 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 blah. Thirty-one. Thirty-one after thirty-one, sixty-three. After sixty-three, ninety-seven. After ninety-seven, hundred and twelve. Okay, so which is the median? The central one. This is my median. Okay, mode mode means which occurs maximum number of times. Who is occurring maximum number of times? None of them is repeated, so all are modes. All or RBW. In this series, we are covering important theory, objective questions, and various numericals. Okay, follow the series completely. Let's start. Which of the following is not correct regarding product developments in bank? So you have not correct. We want what is not correct regarding product development. Survey is done in commercial banks, but only through in-house resources and not outsourced. We want not correct. Okay, in some banks, no survey is done. Products in some banks are developed and launched based on the industry practices and needs expressed by the customers. And D one, none of the above. So which of them is not correct? Yeah, not correct. We want not correct. Now think, everyone think. Let me see. Yeah. Think over it. Think over it. i'll wait for one uh, half a minute because this is a typical one See here in house resources so firstly what are commercial banks commercial banks are this nationalized plus private both the banks are commercial banks so do the survey do the survey in house think over it number 2 no survey is done in some banks so it happens in many of the banks it happens Many of the cooperative banks, no survey is done, nothing. D, product in some banks are developed and launched based on the industry practices and needs expressed by the practical customer. Means, whatever the major customers of the bank say or the big customers of the bank say, this generally happens in cooperative banks again, and also in various new banks also. They develop the products fast. And last one is none of the above. So what should be the answer over here? The answer is A. 
Correct answer is a survey is done. This is not correct. Remember, it is not correct. Why? Because survey in commercial banks is not done in house. It is outsourced. Okay, it is outsourced. Got it? Clear. Next one. Processing of products and services in retail banking is approved from the following dimensions. Number one, processing is done through in-house resources. Number two, processing is partly done in-house and for some products outsourcing. Number C, in some products entire process is outsourced. E to C all means in-house then partly and complete outsource. So A to C all, B only. Some outsourced, some uh, in-house. A and B only means in-house and some outsourced and A and C only. So in-house and completely outsourced. So what should be the answer over here? Think over it. Everyone. Yeah. Think, 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 yes. Is it A to C all? Means some completely in-house, some outsourced, some in-house and uh, completely outsourced. Is it something like that? Or only B? B is the answer. Many of you are thinking B is the answer. What do you think? The answer is A to C all. This is the answer, right? Good morning, everyone. Those who have joined new. Good morning, those who have joined late. Good morning. So it is A to C all. Processing of products and services is approached via complete in-house or uh, part partial outsource or it is complete outsource. In foreign banks, they do complete outsource. See this. In foreign banks, they generally do complete outsource. This is done in Indian private banks and this is generally done in nationalized banks in-house. Okay. For product development in public uh, sector banks, the following approach is adopted. So product development, focus on this word, product development for developing a new product. In PSBs, now, now they have specifically asked about PSB, public sector bank. So for PSB, what is the approach to be adopted? Processing is done in all cases by using in-house resources. Processing is done in some cases by using in-house and some outsource. And here complete outsource, C1. And D, outsourcing is not used at all. So A and D are similar answers. All give by in-house resources, yeah will change this because A and D seem to be same. So, so product development in public sector banks, the following approach is adopted. Processing is done in all cases by using in-house, so completely in-house or partial in-house, partial outsourcing or processing is done in all cases by using out, uh, uh, using out resources, out means outside resources, okay. So, what is the true answer over here? What do you think? Yes, yes, yes. Up till now, we used to think that in public sector banks, everything is done completely in house. Earlier means up to 2005, 10. They used to do completely in-house, but nowadays even public sector banks have changed. Okay, they have also changed. Now you see all the banks have geared up. You might have seen this, right? All your banks are giving you huge pressures, isn't it? Aren't they giving you huge pressures now? So all your banks are giving you huge pressures for what? For functioning. How many of you are getting the insurance target? Everyone, just tell me. How many of you are having that insurance target to the fullest? Means to the fullest means on a daily basis. 
how many insurance logged in today this week that week insurance week that week then you have that kisan uh, credit card target how many of you have this uh, kcc target and insurance target mainly insurance forget about kcc because kcc is a core product what about insurance how many of you have insurance targets type yes in the comment section if you have the insurance targets everyone type yes right everyone because nowadays banking is less of banking and completely it's of insurance so that's why public sector banks have changed a lot they have sim become similar to that of the national uh, this uh, private banks so the answer is this now b this is same the case in private banks also this is similar uh, similarly the case is in public sector banks also the processing is done in some cases using in house and in some cases using outsourcing so that is done what is outsourcing outsourcing means we give the survey part or some other uh, part which is given to the other public means common persons uh, means some private agencies are given this job okay got it move on okay yeah chalo next one are you with me everyone are you with me everyone okay with this how is it going are you understanding it everyone are you understanding it type yes in the comment section everyone are you following it <coughs> chalo next one in which of the following category of banks the product development process is fully outsourced fully fully outsourced in which category of banks now think over it everyone which category of banks the product development is fully outsourced public sector new private old private and foreign banks firstly tell me what is public sector bank see here today i'll be taking the same session in at 7 am just 15 minutes from now join the batches as at right now you can join the batch also today is the first day of the paid batch do join it immediately okay do join it right now you join it because today's topic is this only public sector banks introduction to the banking retail banking i'll be taking that only okay so fully outsourced in which bank See here, new private sector bank means what? These are HDFC bank, ICICI bank, which have which have come into existence after nineteen ninety one, Narsimham Committee. Old private sector banks means those banks were existing earlier. Those are private banks like Karnataka Bank or uh, this. Uh, uh, there are other banks as well. Karnataka was there. Karur Vaishya was there. These banks existed long back. And last one is foreign banks means like City Bank, HSBC. so fully outsourcing is done in foreign banks this year year full outsourcing is done always okay here they do full outsourcing remember this okay so foreign banks in new private sector banks and public sector banks partial okay here in fact all all of them now all of them are partial outsourcing completely okay all are doing partial outsourcing now got it okay with this move on chalo let's move on to the next one bank adopt different approach uh, different process models for retail asset products which include centralized retail asset processing centers centralized processing in some cases regional processing centers and stand alone processing at branches So banks adopt different process models. What are the different process models? Centralized retail asset products. Now you'll see what is the difference between A and B. What is the difference? Centralized retail asset products and here centralized processing in some some cases. Now the difference between A and B is in A we are only focusing on asset loan. but here we are focusing on loan as well as deposits assets and liabilities both 
okay so that is the difference centralized asset processing then centralized processing in some cases regional processing center regional means what we have various in various regions north east west south there are certain processing processing centers right standalone processing at branches means at the branch level what is the answer a to d all a to c only a a to b only and c and d only what should be the answer over here everyone think sometimes there is only retail asset sometimes centralized is done for all the products nowadays all the products are centralized all almost right banking products retail processing centers and stand alone so the answer is a to d all okay all of them a to d all okay got it next one in retail asset product model where the retail loans are sourced by branches and by marketing teams and processed at a single point is known as here sourced at branches branches are only sourcing it by marketing team so everything is sourced here we are talking only of sourcing and processed at a single point so single point means only one level centralized processing it might be or anything we can call it so it is called as what standalone regional centralized and any of these so what is the answer for this all the branches are giving that uh, this documents and they are processed at only one level one processing center is there so that is called as standalone regional centralized and any of these what do you think yeah think over it think over it i'll just wait for one minute okay So the answer is centralized, right? Centralized processing. This is the answer. Centralized. Got it? Okay. Next one. Where the bank follows the retail asset product processing at branches without taking any assistance from regional centers. This is called as here. Where the branch follows the retail asset processing at branches. So it is done at branches. without taking any assistance from the regional center so no help from the head office or zonal office or anyone so it is called as stand alone regional centralized or any any of these think or this is a bit tricky one tricky okay this is a bit tricky one a bit tricky everyone think or it everything is done at the branches sourcing is also done at the branch processing is done at the branch everything at the branch so it is called as what stand alone regional centralized <coughs> think 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 i'll give you a hint also okay it's either a or b it's either a or b think over it now i want the answer in the comment section everyone kindly comment give the give it in the comment section everyone
answer is it is called a stand alone remember stand alone processing means stand alone what do you mean by stand alone i am alone nobody is helping me that's what is said over here processing at the branches without taking any assistance from the regional center so no help it is called a stand alone got it remember this by heart the level of centralized processing of retail assets is the lowest in the respect of which of the following banks so centralized processing of retail assets is lowest remember we want it for the lowest now in which of the following banks new private old private public sector and foreign banks central processing is lowest which of the banks think over it lowest now we don't want highest we want the lowest okay we want the lowest so it is lowest in public sector banks remember this public sector bank c is the answer okay next one the level of centralized processing of retail assets is highest in respect of which of the banks highest so everything is centralized everything it's highest in which banks then obviously now this will be foreign banks right so now before going let me cover the batches see this first i would suggest everyone to join the batch immediately okay see this go to atta 24/7 click on jib and cib i will always suggest you to go through the app in the app you are getting 1% extra using the coin systems okay so go to atta 24/7 click on jib and cib click on jib may 24 Look at the batches. See this resolution batch May twenty fourth. Click on this batch. You'll see the details. See seventy five percent off. Don't wait for this one. Don't uh, use this seventy five percent. I'll give you a separate code with additional benefit. See this. Put the code Y four three two. Click on apply. Look at this. Now you're having seventy seven percent off. And if you use the app, you'll be getting one percent more. Seventy eight percent. Okay. So what do you get in this? in the classes you get ebooks test series expert faculties interactive classes recorded videos limited size batches okay so these are all the advantages which you get plus i would suggest you should join the mahapack also in the mahapack you get multiple batches okay so the jib cib mahapack you get multiple batches over here in multiple batches means see this per subject you'll be getting around 6 to 7 batches so you get again videos ebooks test series live classes regular tests interactive classes expert faculties again code is the same say this put the code y432 y432 click on apply again look at this 77% off plus 1% extra on the 